and be here. Have you ever? This uh, next invention belongs to the taxpayers. Everybody. Oh, too bad. That's a shame. It belongs to everybody. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Huh? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What, what I'm, what I'm gonna, what I'm going to uh, brief. No one owns it, besides everyone. What I'm about to brief. No one owns it, besides everyone. It's for the taxpayers. The United States Post Service. Our general mail delivery. Our postmen and postwomen. Hard working, delivering the goods that we need. De deli <laughs> delivering the, the goods that we need every day. <clears throat> okay, as you, as you know, we all count. Uh, we all count on on UPS uh, or you know Federal Express or something like that. You know, overnight delivery, priority po uh, U.S. Postal Service mail, right? Excellent. We pay a little bit more, but we get the faster delivery. Okay. Now, what if, what if we make areas, special areas that we can, um, we can appreciate on a faster delivery, delivery, as you know, we got the airliner, right? Our commercial airliner. It loads a whole bunch of, of, um, of items that, that, that the trade uh, invents and we purchase to trade off and receive, okay? From different parts of the world, which we appreciate. Now, what if there's a vehicle? <clears throat> ding, ding, ding. Drum roll. What if there's a transport that's faster than the airliner, than the commercial airliner, okay? And the delivery service is faster too. The, the delivery airliner has to land at the airport. Then we gotta unload the airliner. Then we gotta load the the, the trucks, then we got to coordinate the, the deliveries. Okay, so there, there obviously it's, it's a lot of work, which we appreciate. Okay, so the thing is, is that, um, the thing is, is that I, Michael R. D. Alvarado, want to give an, uh, um, a floating an uh, air floating vessel, kind of like an airplane, okay, or a helicopter, okay? It's similar to, to um, uh, a watercraft. I mean, not a watercraft, uh, um, I forgot the name of it at the time. Well, anyways, this is, this is, let's just get to the conclusion. So, here's, here's the example. For example, this right here is the, um, I'm gonna use this plant too as an example, okay? This right here is a factory. It's a factory, okay? Hi, I wanna order 30 of these great uh, um, remote control cars, quote unquote, or uh, 500 of them, okay? Oh, yes, sir, right away. Would you like our overnight delivery? Yes, sir, I'll pay any price, okay? There's a fair in town. There's a country fair in town, and I need I need 500 of those RC cars, quote, unquote. <sighs> and I'll tell you what, if you can make that delivery here in... 
10 hours instead of, you know, the standard, the standard three day delivery. That's just pretty much the standard delivery. We got the fastest is like three day, you know? Three day or 48 hour. Yeah, 72 hours. Standard is about 72 hours. If you, if you can get that delivery done here, I'm in, okay, that right there is the state, that right there is, is the state of New York, okay? I need that delivery here in, and I'm in uh, Texas, okay? You hear, you hear New York, I need that delivery here in 10 hours. At his fair, he's got, he, he's got 700 people at, at the fair, waiting in line. It's, you know, it's a big event. Kind of like, kind of like the lines over there for the Daisy Carnival that we break bread on, on the, uh, uh, at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I know, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I highly recommend it to everyone, by the way. The most beautiful people I've ever seen in my entire life is at that fair, at the Daisy at the Carnival. Okay, so, oh yes sir, we'll deliver it right away. Would you like our super fast express delivery? Yeah. I'm willing to pay double the price of the item if you make it here on time, for a quote, quote unquote, or 30% more. Sir, you got a deal. <laughs> Plain and simple, you got a deal. Okay, that's the advantage of offers. Okay, offers. There's nothing like an offer, okay? So, I, Michael R. Diavardo, want to brief of something very important. Nobody owns it besides everyone, period. FBI, I said what I said. If there's a private owner, I'll prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law, and you will probably lose almost everything. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to give you, for example, for starts, what we're going to do is that we're going to transform... You know, perhaps, um, perhaps the the standard bus line. Okay, you know our double, our our dual, our dual uh, two stage bus line from RTC. <clears throat> we'll make that a little wider so it's more stable. Okay, the bottom floor not as long. It'd probably be three quarters of the size of the bus. Okay, not too long, but, but, but wider. The top level will be the cockpit area, okay? The bottom level will be the storage area. So, after that, yeah, you, I guess you gotta go through, you can go through the storage on the side and you know, go up the ladder or some shit like that, whatever. Okay, so the difference is uh, what we're going to do. I'm not an expert, general public. I need your help out a little bit on this. <clears throat> what we're going to do is that we're going to transform the turbine. The turbine. The size of that trash can. See the size of that trash can right there? We're going to transform the turbine to the size of that trash can. Okay, the standard turbine is, is, is humongous. It's like really big. It's gigantic. So we're gonna make a turbine the size of that trash can. Now, a turbine is gonna sit, you're gonna mold, you're gonna mold the turbine and the turbine will be built into every corner. Every corner, okay? Every corner. Every corner. Built right in. The only thing that's coming out of the corner, actually, if you can build build it in, build that turbine in, inside where it's just the exhaust at the, uh, at the corner, perfect. Okay, now you got to make the turbine, you got to make the turbine obviously at a certain angle, okay? 
where all four turbines will make the vehicle do this. Now when I drop, when I drop the, the uh, output, the output, the afterburner, a little bit in two of them, what happens to it? It tilts, correct, so it'll go. It goes forward. At the back of the vessel, the floating vessel, you'll add the wing, you'll add the wing tail of the Blackhawk propellering system so it can turn. Okay, now I need to go this way. Now I need to go that if I find out there's a private owner, I will sue you to the fullest extent of the law. What I said belongs to the United States Post Office and the postman and the taxpayers. The taxpayers own it. Me, him, her, him, him, that little kid, everybody. <sighs> uh, sir, we're about to deliver your package. Now your total is boo boo to boo with uh, 75 cents. Sir, make it 40% more since you got the delivery on the way. Yeah, we're about to deliver it right away, sir. Excellent. I appreciate that. I need it in eight hours. It got there in seven or six hours. The factory, the carnival, there's the carnival, there's the factory. Six hours later. Here's your delivery. We got a delivery here for uh, Remote Control Carnival. Or <laughs> Another satisfied customer. That right there, Biden, our president, that should cover, gee, I don't know how many employees can you handle. Now you got to make the factory to make the, to make the invention of what I just said. You got to hire more uh, pilots. Now you got to hire pilots. We got to teach the pilots how to pilot that. Huh? Now hire. Three. I whooped UPS. Have a nice night. And my name is Michael R. D. Alvarado. It's my honor to uh, give that type of invention for the 21st century. This is January, uh, no, not January, this is April. It's April 23rd, around you know, 2.30 in the afternoon or so. <sighs> the taxpayers own what I just said. United States of America, don't treat me like shit. God bless for the best. Bye. Take care.